So the last one <laughs> I'm going to introduce because of the three, this is hands down my favorite. Why do you get to introduce the best one? <laughs> because you did the other two and oh, it kind of okay. equals. All so. right, fine. <coughs> and we'll save that for the end. Hey y'all, and welcome back to Our Road Less Traveled. Today, we're gonna go over three campgrounds that we stayed in in the Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Sevierville area. Now, normally, as we've said before, we love Gatlinburg and it's kind of like our stomping grounds is a home away from home. Normally, we would stay at Duval's and the Smokies, but a year or two ago, they sold out to a place called Big Bear and it's not that we don't like the place, it's just we we thought we would venture out, change things up just a little bit. So we stayed at, at three campgrounds, two that are vacation family friendly, and then one we ended up staying at for a switch it up huddle. And we're gonna review each one of the three and let y'all know what we think about them. And you guys in the comments, tell us if you've stayed at them and whether we're right or wrong. So stand by and we'll be right back. <laughs> so we spent two weeks at each campground and the first one we stayed at was Riverside. Pros of Riverside very wide open, had a dog park. We had a beautiful view. I like the size of, of the park. I like the fact that it was gravel. Um, to me, I think pavement puts a little bit of extra wear on tires when you're turning really tight to get things in and out. Um, so I liked the gravel. Um, I liked that they did propane on site and they didn't do it as a price per bottle. They actually bill you for the number of gallons that they, they put in your tank. Um, I liked that it had a washing facility on site. Um, now, the things that I did not like was while while the site was relatively level, um, it, it was slightly rutted. So when it would rain and while we were there, we were in the rainy season it would flood pretty bad and I'd be standing in ankle deep water to dump the tanks. Um, yeah, and you had to back up for me to get in the truck because I would be in ankle deep water trying right. to get in. And it, it was the whole site. It wasn't just one area. Right. Um, and it was all over the park. It wasn't just our site. Um, but that's our, uh, that's, that's the really only, the main, the main con about that. Yeah, that about that's that the only con I can think of is great location. Um, you pulled out to a red light so you could get out on the main parkway, you know, really easy. Yeah, I'd stay there again. Yeah, absolutely. If, absolutely. I mean, Their Wi-Fi was incredible. Yeah. Um, they ran both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wireless, and they were running across all bands. I mean, it really a great park. Yeah. So what was the next one we stayed at? The next park, <laughs> funny enough, I mean... We didn't realize how close it was to this one. I'm glad that we got the experience of staying at three different ones because we love the area so much. Now we know which one to go back to. And we'll save that for the end. So the next one we stayed at was Two Rivers Landing RV Resort. We love that one too um, for different reasons. It was all concrete. Um, it did not flood at all. My only thing I didn't love about that park was that they didn't have a fenced in dog park. Um, they had a beautiful grassy little area for the dogs, but they did not have a fenced in area, which Stella kind of enjoys. And um, they did have, you know, the uh, other normal amenities that a resort would, you would expect to have like a pool and laundry facilities and a oh, workout room. Although the workout room was kind of small, it only had three little elliptical machines or treadmills, but so, anyway. So for me, getting into this park was very easy. And if, if you turn in right where the knife store is, you go down to the stop sign, you make a right, 
and it, I mean, it's, it's just was a breeze to get in and out of. Um, all the sites are, are back in, unless you're a class A, then they're a pull in. Um, the sites were really wide, so we, we had enough room for both slides to come out and then we had enough room to where we could put the picnic table and not feel cramped. It, it was it was a nice site. Great park, we'd stay there again. Um, it took us five minutes to get from the first campground to the second yeah, one. Yeah, basically there's a, I think it's Little Pigeon River separates the two parks. Yeah. So we pulled out of one, did a U-turn and pulled into the other one. Yeah. Very easy movement. Very in. easy. So the last one <laughs> I'm gonna introduce because of the three, this is hands down my favorite. Why do you get to introduce the best one? <laughs> because you did the other two and oh, it kind of okay. equals. All so, right, fine. <laughs> the Ridge. Now let, let's talk about the Ridge. Um, <laughs> good night. It, when, when you think of a resort or an RV resort, the Ridge really ought to be the standard. Yeah. Now, some people are going to claim that that the price is a con and I don't think so. I think the price is commensurate with, with the services that you get. Yeah. Um, they picked up trash twice a day. They had a lazy river. Um, Hot tub, two pools. Yeah, I mean. I mean, a, a deli on site, a the, virtual golf game inside, a full gym yeah. of any kind of equipment you would ever need. Mail services. I mean, a, just a huge like conference center for which was just why we were there is was for a huddle. Yeah. And there was plenty of room for all 200 of us. Um, I it, can't even the, the wireless think of anything else. The, oh, the wireless Internet was was impeccable. I mean, we had a gas fire pit in our site. Yeah, it some sites so some sites had different things and i guess you can pick what kind of level you want to be on ours had a gas fire pit some of them had um, regular fire pits they all had a picnic table stamped concrete but then there is this other level of site yeah <laughs> and i've never seen this anywhere you, you have the, the area that you pull your rig into, and then you've got a dual step down into like a, a box area, area with a, a brick facade on it that you've got a 50 inch TV, you've got a grill, um, and then you've got a two person hot tub that's been impeccably maintained. And a fireplace, like a With a fireplace, <laughs> I mean, and it's all stamped concrete, yeah. like, like bricks i mean it yeah and and stained i mean it it's beautiful absolutely and it overlooks beautiful. the pond i mean it's just that's the other thing they have a big fishing pond in the middle yeah it, of the whole campground the the roads there wasn't a dip or a wave in any of the asphalt three I mean, dog parks yeah, so two three. that are beside each other one for big dogs one for small and then another one that's off in the other part of the park and this park is huge. Yeah, it's massive. Um, it, it's they built it on. Um, evidently, it used to be a, a super church, mega church, mega church. Um, that I don't know if it went under. I don't know the history behind it, but it's the the property itself is is a big, massive church building that they put all these amenities in. And then all the parking lot and everything. They must have completely redid it. Um, it's. Their, their crew, holy cow. I I found a speed bump that had a, a screw sticking up out of it and just mentioned it to one of the guys. And I'm not kidding you, 10 minutes later, they were out there, they had it fixed. Amazon would yeah. say, your package arrived. And then two seconds later, you get a call from the Ridge saying, hey, we've got your package up here. It's located at XXX. Yeah. I mean, just. Phenomenal. Unbelievable, yeah. hands down the best RV park that we have ever stayed at. I mean, and for location, I mean, you can't, you're five minutes from the parkway. Yeah. Like you're right there. You're just down from Dollywood. You, you're, you got a neighborhood Walmart two minutes away, like a big Walmart five minutes away. You're close to everything. This is the place <clears throat> that you could turn your kids loose. Yeah. And they could self-entertain all day long. You from wouldn't even ever gyms, have to leave. 
jungle yeah. gyms to swimming pools to lazy rivers. They had all the equipment you needed. You didn't have to bring anything extra. Yeah. It was. I don't think I ever went up there, but they have pickleball and basketball. Yeah. And I think they have golf cart rentals and just everything. Just absolutely amazing. So with all of that said, if y'all have stayed at any of these, you know, put in the comments what you think, if, if you think we're wrong, if we miss something. Um, but more importantly, you're going to want to stick around for the next three videos because we're going to do a three-part series. We're boondocking the national parks and we're going to put together a... In Utah. In Utah. <laughs> we're, we're boondocking the Mighty Five in Utah and we're going to put together a roadmap to kind of help you guys out as to how you can navigate seeing these national parks boondocking on the cheap and the only thing that we're going to use is a 100 amp hour battery we're going to use a 30 gallon external water bladder and we are going to carry a dual fuel generator but we have no solar and we're going to work from the road maintain internet my eyes watering <laughs> um, and we're going to show you the places that matter of fact we're going to give you the gps locations of the places that we stay we're gonna give you a listing of parks that will let you come in and fill up with water and dump. And then we're gonna tell you what it costs and how far away from each one of the parks are. Yeah. So stay tuned for next week. <laughs> so that wraps up this week's video on the three campgrounds we stayed at in Sevierville, Tennessee. And we will see you next week on our road less travel. Bye y'all.